Hi Jackson on five. Hi Cool ASX. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today I wanted to talk about health. Something that I haven't uh, been speaking about. I used to do it a whole lot, but along my journey, somebody say, please help. Keep living. Please help with what? What are you talking about over there? <laughs> but along my journey of unfoldment, I expanded, you know, my thinking of health because I believe that all is mental. But yet some people, you know, aren't at that particular expansion level and they're seeing things. And even me too, I still see things with the law of polarity because I'm governed underneath this particular matrix. And, you know, um, everybody just different, you know, everybody can just be like and I'm healed and just be healed like you know hey Trey y'all if y'all see me just before I get started if y'all see me this is really not bitter this is a tea I drunk but I got all kind of pulp in there I didn't I didn't strain it so the pulp getting in my mouth so that's why I guess I'm making those faces because I don't have a vocal face at all <laughs> anyway, no, I'm not in Las Vegas. No, I'm in Arizona. This look like Las Vegas. <laughs> so let's get started. I want to talk about health and wellness and not just what are you putting inside, you know, because like I believe in the physical reality that all things are mental, right? I believe just like in the Christ conscious um, state of being in the New Testament, Jesus said, just bless your food. I believe it is your thoughts that you have when you consume certain things that make you feel certain way. The thoughts of others that sometimes you pick up on, you know, just your negative state of being. Once you clear that up, you can be positive and roll with it. And you can really, just like in the biblical text, touch anything and nothing shall no, by no means harm you, right? But there are some people that's not there. And they were, there was a time when I wasn't there. And so I wanted to talk about health and wellness as it pertains to not just your thoughts, not just what you're eating, but even what you're putting on your body. You know, even what you're giving your attention to, like your pheromones, <laughs> you know, what you're attracting, your natural scent, your morning breath, your bowel movement, if you have any, and, you know, if they stinking up the whole house. I'm talking about that level that I don't really feel like people really go into that particular state of being when they're talking about uh, consciousness. They don't go that far. So, let's see. That's how we want it to be healing and now. Yeah, and being impatient, definitely. So we want it now. <laughs> but, more often than not it don't work like that for everybody it don't like even like say for example you go to the doctor if you subscribe to that type of thinking that state of being you know where you believe everything the doctor say and everything that he tell you to try you try it the doctor your doctor will tell you okay this medicine might take maybe two three weeks you know to go into effect or whatever but don't stop keep taking it so it's like a progression you know it's like a journey it's like a cycle you know even with healing like you gotta be sick in order to one day get healed from that sickness so it's a journey a progression that you're going to be on during that journey is not often instant manifestation like a lot of people want it to be like you know the the so-called miracle so to speak right so i really want to talk about like the things that you put on your body first of all like like perfumes for example you know some people put perfume now your skin is the largest body i mean largest organ on your body and some people just and they gotta put it all right here and all right here perfume is really really toxic the soaps the commercial soaps that we use is really really toxic if you look at the ingredients if you look at the back of something and you see more than about a good seven ingredients i mean i'm talking about you ever looked at the deodorants and in the um the uh, perfumes and the makeups and the shampoos 
and and what else we use on the body the soaps whatever you ever looked at the list of ingredients and you saw like a a book a little chapter of a book <laughs> all of that is going inside of your body and you or your liver per se your kidneys have to process that right not just that so let's say you're putting that on your body and then you're sitting there you're watching maybe what they call them shows the reality love and hip-hop type souls shows and you're consuming that toxic energy and then so then you're 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 bathing in uh toxic soaps that have lye which is the same ingredient that's in oven cleaner right and so now your ph of your skin which is supposed to be acidic is out of balance it's alkaline and now your your skin got to fight to get back in balance then you're eating any, any and everything that you want your body is not getting the break and so you're consuming a whole bunch of heavy things steak and potatoes and you so now 80 percent of your immune system lies in the gut so now now your gut is so busy so compromised working on taking care of all this stuff that you put in it that it don't really have time to take care of the skin it don't really have time to you know take care of your vision no more because it's going to get cloudy too it don't really have time to help you grow no hair no hair ain't growing no edges ain't growing back you know you locked up you're not having proper bowel movements so health and wellness really like my journey started me <laughs> cleaning out everything in my uh, cupboard throwing all of the meat away in my freezer and going cold turkey because I got tired of being sick and not understanding why and nobody never asked me what I was putting in my mouth nobody asked me what I was consuming in my mind nobody asked me what I was putting on my body and so when we begin to take care of the avatar the body both physically and mentally that go to healing <laughs> that'll go to christ consciousness state of being that go consciousness that go you be coming on a journey so it's really i feel like it's really important for us to start on our journey that way even if you're not going to become a vegan and stay one because like i said once you get to the top of the christ consciousness you realize that all is god but at least start the journey for yourself let's see Oh, I thought the sunshine looked the same. Oh, yeah, I guess so. It's beautiful. Clear skies here. I love that part. Let's see. My pheromones smell like Florida forest. Okay, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. That's a good scent. But sometimes, you ever met people? I was just thinking about the deodorant this morning. Yeah. You ever met people that, like, when you when you you get in contact with them and they have so much a perfume on so much a cologne you know that that old spice smell them older men that put the whole bottle of old spice on and like the whole room will be smelling so you gotta wonder did you put that on your skin because if you put that amount inside of your skin every day man god have mercy upon your kidneys and your liver that gotta process that <laughs> you got to think about it because really I was sent we supposed to be able to have certain scents that are peculiar to us like our natural scent and it's not supposed to be stinky it's not supposed to be stinky it gets stinky because of everything that you put in your mouth it gets stinky because we decide we're going to put antiperspirant to clog up our pores underneath our armpit and not allow them to secrete like they're naturally supposed to that's how it gets stank up in there. So, and then it's on top of that, if we're not having bowel movement, okay, that, that's like a that's like a um, a garbage disposal in the kitchen. You know, every once in a while, you got to put a little bit of lime up in there. You know, you got to pour, whatever you pour, maybe your vinegar, your bleach, or something inside of that. Because if you're not moving that thing around, if no circulation is going, if no water is being rinsing out that disposal, if nothing is getting chopped down, <laughs> and process properly it's gonna stink up the kitchen and that's how some of us are walking around in physical reality so we'll throw that antiperspirant on because we know something is stinking inside of there we'll put that perfume on because we know we are literally full of shit inside of there but we dare not to go on a fast we dare not to detox we dare not to be still for a moment and give that that digestive system a moment to do what it's supposed to do to catch up no, we don't want to do that. We want the miracle. We want the miracle working God. We want Jesus to fix it. 
We want Jesus to fix all of that, all the stuff that we did to our avatar. But you did it, though. <laughs> it's like self-inflicted. You did it. So I mentioned this simply because every now and then I go on a, um, a fast. And actually, I just woke up this morning and I was like, I'm going to go on a fast. <laughs> I'm going to just go on a fast. Just because. Ain't no reason. You know, in church, we used to go on a fast in church, you know. They used to have long fasts too, and I know all of them people personally. They was just cheating on them fasts. You know, we used to go on like them forty day, forty night fasts, like Jesus. You know how when in the biblical text when he was tempted by the devil on the wilderness, it was after he had came out on a forty day fast. So the church people used to always try to do that. But if you never did a fast before, I would encourage you to start small. I have done them before. I just only want to do three days simply because you know I I really eat mostly clean. You know, I have mostly clean thoughts for whenever I am eating something that may be not be vegan. I transform the energy mentally in my mind before I consume the thing. But I'm only doing three days and I'm going to do it and I want to share with you what I'm going to do. And maybe it'll help somebody. I'm going to do just um, water. Just regular spring water. And my, um, my teas. You know, I make different types of teas. Sometimes in my tea, it'll be all, it'll be herbs. And sometimes in my tea, I'll add some coconut oil. You know, while the tea is still hot, I don't heat the coconut oil. Because coconut oil runs rancid when you heat it. Because remember, it's, it's a virgin, extra virgin coconut oil. Anytime you're dealing with a virgin oil, a virgin, just think about a virgin that's never really been touched before. You got to be gentle with the virgin. So you can't put no heat on the virgin because she's gentle. So that goes for olive oil. Really, we shouldn't be cooking at high temps with olive oil and never cooking coconut oil because both of those are supposed to be coming forward as virgins, right? So anyway, I put the coconut oil in the tea while the tea is still warm. And so it melts in the tea and I'll put a pinch of pink Himalaya sea salt, right? And so I do uh, various types of herbs. Today I'm doing nettle, nettle leaf uh, tea. That's it. No, I ain't put no sugar in it. I just put the nettle hot water and um, uh, coconut oil. Yeah, and that's it. I didn't even put a pink of Himal pink Himalaya sea salt in this. I'll probably do that on the next one. But anyway, just flushing out my body. Just, just giving my body minerals. Just giving my body the amino acids because, you know, the so-called um, world say, oh, but you got to get your protein. Yeah, really. I believe protein has been a lie. Because they, they don't have no people walking around here with no protein deficiency. <laughs> protein, when they're saying about protein, they're really talking about amino acids. And you can get your amino acids from coconut oil. See, that's why I put the coconut oil in here. The building block of your muscle, you know, your, your, your strength. Coconut oil is really beneficial in so many ways. It's, you know, antifungal, antiparasitic, antiviral, antimicrobial, right? So I put that in my um, tea. And I just drank my tea and I stay hydrated. Really and truly, the sun... The sun really gives me so much life, especially being out here. You know, in Louisiana, I really love the sun there. I used to always sunbathe, right? I sunbathed a lot up in Louisiana in my backyard. I used to, well, I still do rather, have a swimming pool in my backyard out at the house in Louisiana. And I would sit out by the pool like all day. Even when I go to the beach in Florida or wherever, I would sit out by the water all day underneath the sun. And I just drink water or I'll go get in the water to hydrate myself and cool my body off. But I could stay in the sun all day. And so this is what's so beautiful to me about being in Arizona. I love the dry heat out here. I love the sun out here. And this sun out here really quickens people. You can see the people like it early in the morning. They get up four, five in the morning. And they just just, just bout it. They just go and they just busy bodies because that sun actually detoxes your body and allows you to kind of increase your frequency and connect with nature even the more and and you want to work out out here you want to exercise you want to do different things because of the different type of heat the different type of sun right and so being out here really have me just want to go to parks want to work out more want to be outside more i used to well the time is different so i'm really still mentally thinking on the time in louisiana so let me see what time is it on my... Okay, so it's 8.40 a.m. here in Arizona, right? So back in Louisiana, I used to get up at about 6 o'clock in the morning for work, right? 
But now out here, I'm getting up at four o'clock in the morning, and as soon as it's like four o'clock in the morning, you know, get you can see the uh, light coming. I'm ready to put on some clothes and go sit outside because I love being outside. It does something for your body, you know. It does something to my melanated body. I want to throw that in there because oftentimes on um, TikTok and you know platforms, people be talking about health and wellness. Even sometimes the melanated being, they'll be talking about health and wellness, but it don't be about their particular body because you gotta realize we all have different blood types. And sometimes melanated beings will just be regurgitating some things that other beings will be able to consume and be okay with because we have different frequencies, right? And so, for example, like garlic and like corn and, and beets and celery, per se. I personally, because of my body, how my body has reacted and I've sat down with my body and myself at a cellular level, I don't feel is with all my knowing that those things aren't really helpful for my melanated body, for my blood type. So even with your health and wellness, you got to pay attention to who you listening to, who you following that's talking about health and wellness. Because, nah, I'm sorry, that 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 that, that one there don't vibrate because we're underneath this matrix now. And if you're going to buy by this law of polarity and this frequency underneath this matrix, they got coatings for you and your blood type and you being the God self that you are, everything going to work for you. Go ahead. Mm -mm. You can't just go following the blind can't 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 be following the blind at least they all fall into the ditch right and so you got to be mindful on your journey of who you listening to about your body you can't listen to everybody about your body it don't work like that and so I study just like I study spirituality you know study to show thyself approved I study health and wellness too I just don't really talk about it that much like I used to because everybody is on their own journey of becoming. And I just really, for the most part, I like people to just sit back and just be. And I like when the universe or my subconscious mind, my, my body, my aura draws people to me to ask me these things instead of just kind of like pouring, pouring. When, when, when a lot of people, if you pay attention, some of the times you, um, in the comments, uh, there could be a profound message, but the, the message sometimes get lost because it really only just be for about a good five people. You know, it could have like a million, you know, likes or whatever, but it was really only for five people. You know, everybody else started talking about, oh, you saw the shirt she had on? Oh, but, but you saw the, you saw up in the window, you saw the, the, the offense in, in the window, you know, you, you saw, you saw the stucco, you know, they, they, they pay attention to everything else besides the message, you know? <laughs> so I just let people be, but I wanted to talk about it today only because I'm going through it right now today where I wanted to do a fast, a three day fast. And I wanted to answer any questions that you may have. Happy fourth, beautiful. Oh, thank you, babe. Thank you. Good morning. I be the I, I beat I beat the odds. Okay, I like that. I like that. So if you had any questions and want to talk more about health and wellness, you can post them. Oh yeah, Big Bird. Yeah, yeah. I don't mind sharing. That's what I was just mentioning. It was um, needle, herb, and coconut oil. And just water i didn't put any sweetener in it but when i do add sweetener the only sweetener of choice that i use is agave i don't mess with you know any other you know cane sugar i don't believe that that works well with my body and when i say this let me tell you when i talk about how i set with myself you know everything is energy frequency and vibration and you could do this too you can find out what, what, what food works for your body and foods that are working against your body for your blood type. If you're not a melanated being, because they you know all kind of people follow me. And it goes just like spirituality or consciousness goes. It goes according to how you feel. So here's the thing. You got to be in tune with your body to do this though. But I'm going to show you what I do or tell you what I do. As soon as I consume something. Yeah. <laughs> As soon as I consume something, I have to be sitting or maybe laying down on my back in like a meditative type position, like just like, you know, consciousness. And so if I'm sitting in that uh, position, 
I close my eyes or I, or even if I have my eyes open, I cannot talk. I can I cannot be moving around, you know, because I'm going in and I want to feel my body at a cellular level to see if what I just consumed is working for me or against me. Now here's the thing. Your body is going to tell you based upon how you feel, but it's a cellular level you're feeding. So when I put like for example, when I first took a taste a pink Himalaya sea salt. This was prior to, you know, when I was just on the white salt journey, when I was doing my Tony Sachery, which has, a, you know, white salt in it, you know, the toxic salt that's been stripped of all of its minerals versus the Himalaya salt that has over 80 plus minerals for your body. It also gives you electrolytes, right? Energy, right? So the first time I licked it, because I was trying it out, I was like, what is this? And as soon as I licked it, now I wasn't even being still then, but my body was so uh, deprived of those minerals. Till I licked it and I was like, oh, what is this? I need this. Give me more of this. I like it. And then I purchased it, right? Now I wasn't being still at that point, but I was so, you know, out of it or deficient in it rather that I liked it and I went and I got more and and I made it a habit to incorporate it in my diet versus the white toxic salt. And you might have experienced this, like if, say, for example, you um, you had an orange or cherries or, you know, seeded orange or cherries or some freshly uh, squeezed key lime juice or something. You're like, oh, my God, that was good. You know, your body tells you it's good. But not only that, if you surpass that first moment, what you can do is close your eyes or just be still and just... Pay attention to the movement, especially if you're toxic. You can feel this. If you are toxic and you consume like, I don't know, key lime juice, key lime aid, and you consume some, you sit down, be still, and pay attention to how your shoulders are feeling. It's feeling, you know? Pay attention to how this area where your liver is, is feeling. Do you feel something flowing now? Do you feel the pressure in your back releasing now? Do you feel the pressure in your kidneys releasing? That lets you know right there that it's working for you. That lets you know right there. Do you feel the inflammation subsiding, subsiding in your body? Even when you consume coconut oil, oftentimes we have um, those people that have, what do they call that? Acid reflex. They have a bunch of inflammation and really what it is is a whole bunch of food that's sitting up in there because they don't have any hydrochloric acid in their gut anymore because they never probably really taste something like pink Himalaya sea salt which help you produce the hydrochloric acid which is necessary for you to have that fire within to break down your food. <laughs> that acid there helps to break it down and help you, you know, it, your food go into your large and small intestines in order to be eliminated. But if you don't have any pink Himalaya sea salt in there, helping to produce your hydrochloric acid, what'll happen is your food will become stuck in there. And that's why when you eat a hot sausage sandwich, for example, you're belching it up, like, right? And you could still smell the hot sausage sandwich because yeah, the hot sausage sandwich is still sitting up in there. It, along with the food from last month, last year, and you calling it acid reflex. <laughs> yeah, it's a big clump of food up in there. And so, <laughs> A lot of people don't understand this about health and wellness. And so they, 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 nev they never had that um, pink Himalaya sea salt. They never had proper bowel movements. They never had it because they were never taught about the digestive system as a whole and as it pertains to their blood type in their body. And so when you consume something like that, like some salt, in your gut, you'll start to feel some coconut oil. You'll start to feel your gut, like, and stuff moving, like, like, oh, that was a relief. I felt that, you know? And so that's how I gauged it. That's how I did with everything, with the different waters that I consume. That's why I don't fool, I don't subscribe with that distilled water. Mm -mm. It didn't feel good to me. That's why I, I do spring water. That's why I don't subscribe to white uh, sea, uh, salt. I use sea salt. That's why I don't subscribe to, to, to drinking my teas without some kind of um, coconut oil in order to, if I do have inflammation up in there, for it to tackle it. 
if I do have fungus or bacteria for that coconut oil or yeast, it'll tackle it. That's why I don't subscribe to those soaps because I used to, I used to um, use Irish Spring before. I didn't use Dove and Caress before in every last soap that I ever used because of my skin. And we'll say, oh, I just have sensitive skin. No, your skin just sensitive to lie. Yeah, if I was your skin, I'd be sensitive to lie too. If I was your skin, but we're not educated about this. If I was your skin, I would want oven clean on me too. If I was your skin and I was aesthetic, I wouldn't want you putting something alkaline on me either. Because you're compromising my potential of hydrogen, my pH balance. And so this is something that, that I really think that they should have taught us in school. But we, we, we really wasn't taught in school the things that we really needed for life for our avatar, you know, how, you know, to deal with finances or, or, or buying a home and in, in, in health and wellness to pertain to our blood type. Those things they, they should have taught us in school. <laughs> Even with, with our, um, with our aura, our, our scent. You know, if you look, pay attention to animals, for example, animals have their own little scent and they sniff each other out. <laughs> they know when each other is in heat. Per, per, per se they 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 don't they they don't really subscribe to going get no um no baths per se and, and putting on cologne and stuff the humans do that to them they are going animals but yet they are fine before they meet an owner that wants to do those things for them or to them they be fine <laughs> but we 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 want to do all of this here extra clogging up ourselves with all of this man-made stuff and trying all stuff and putting all kind of things even even with sexual experiences putting all kind of things in our vagina and stuff so it could taste a certain way <laughs> clogging up underneath our armpit though where there's a gang of uh lip noids underneath there that wants to secrete that those lip noids and they don't they don't get moved like like the blood uh system like they get moved when you are allowing for movement like jumping on a trampoline exercises but when we get older we ain't jumping on no trampolines hardly we ain't going outside for recess like we used to do hardly we go into the office we sitting at the computer all day we get home we may stand up while we cook and straighten up the house a little bit but then we're sitting down eating again then we want to relax and sit down and watch tv again we're sitting down and then we get tired and then we lay down again so the our lymphatic system is not really moving like it used to so we gotta support it if we're not moving we gotta support it with things that we consume to allow it to move to allow it to flow and that's where herbs come in at that's where your minerals come in at to help you maintain your life force in your avatar body in your avatar self it can be any tea i'm sorry i wasn't paying attention to the comment it can be any tea yeah but the base of it should be herbal like a herbal tea you can make a tea out of soursop leaves on etsy they sell this stuff on etsy y'all soursop leaves it can be a tea i love soursop tea i love uh nettle tea let's say you can do even a tea with bladder rack you could tea oh a good one for men the good ones for men i would say would be soursop will be burdock root dandelion root now when you get into the um dandelion dandelion is really really bitter so that'll be a really bitter tea dandelion dandelion burdock and yellow dock those three right there powerful because they are blood cleansers because okay and i say that for men because you know men with the prostate issue and and blood flow and with them always wanting to drink their little beer and stuff you gotta make sure that your blood is flowing that lymphatic system is flowing anything that really is good for cleaning the blood gonna be really helpful for prostate and if it's helpful for men for prostate it's also going to be helpful for women with their um you know female organs you know with that ovarian cancer is what i mean because those be the things for, for women they end up with ovarian cancer men they end up with prostate issues all of it could be both eliminated if you would consume in the right day in the physical reality this is not about thought today we're not doing thought we're going into the matrix and abiding by this matrix coding of you know, this here food has this frequency, this here food does not. Because that's how the, the coding of the matrix is going to be. If they're going to have an herb that's going to heal you, they're going to have to have an herb that's going to kill you. <laughs> All things are two-sided in this here matrix. 
yes 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 so wait a minute up 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 what is your take on adding honey to your tea well like i said agave is my sweet of choice but outside of agave the only kind of honey that i would say that is uh nourishment is a manuka honey manuka honey is really expensive though but the rest of the honeys no the manuka, the manuka honey it comes from um new zealand and it's really expensive honey but it's really good it's really good for colds and stuff coughs like flus type stuff you know um what they call that covid you know a coronavirus type stuff with that congestion the manuka honey is really good look into that i think it's spelled m a n u k a manuka honey yeah hey what's going on here hey scorpio we just talk about health and wellness just a little bit wait what were you licking again huh i was licking i was getting um my nettle uh poke out of my mouth because it's in my tea and i didn't i didn't strain it if that's what you're talking about there um scorpio let's see I was addicted to the white salt. Now I like the pink Himalaya sea salt. Yeah, it's it, this is different. You, you you do get addicted to it, but that is that white salt is really causing a lot of people to have high blood pressure. A lot of people to have high pressure blood pressure because I used to be on um, I used to consume it a lot in my food because I used to consume tone what they call it Tony saturated Tony saturates, which in Louisiana is a shake season blend, and they have a lot a lot of white salt in it. Plus, I was putting salt on it because I wasn't paying attention to the fact that they had salt in there already and I was putting salt on my food. So I was, I just didn't know. <laughs> That's why I always talk about Tony Sashri to, for other people to be mindful of it because it's like, it's like the first or second ingredient and then it's like the, maybe the fifth ingredient too. So they letting you know, hey, I, hey, there's more. <laughs> there's more on top of that. Like, God dang, how much you can put up in that? But yeah. When does your fast start? Water fast or dry fast? Yeah, it starts today. It starts today at 4 o'clock this morning. When I got up this morning, I was like, I'm going to fast today. I'm going to just fast because of how my body feels. And I only do it when my body feels like it. And I'm not saying it because I'm sluggish. You know, my bowel movements flow, trust me, properly because of what I eat and how I eat. But I just woke up and for the last couple of days, you know, I have been, you know, unpacking and stuff. And I just was so adamant about okay i'm not gonna be in this house all day i'm packing i've got to go outside i gotta go to the park i gotta do this i gotta ride my bike today i gotta go out and play i gotta go because it's almost like the sun is calling me and I, what i noticed is even though i only ate when i was in louisiana once a day i still eat once a day here but i gotta really remind myself to eat out here it's like i was living off of the sun already so i was like let me go on a fast I don't really need to eat because <laughs> that reminder to eat lets me know that my body is feeling up on my teas and you know on my uh amino acids from my coconut oil and all my pink himalaya sea salt so my body is really doing good and all my water intake so i was like let me just do this little fast for three days so i encourage you to do one with me if you want to kiki that'll be cool that'll be cool and i could be your support we could be each other's support, maybe. I don't want to sound like, you know, I'm greater than in any sense. But, but yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just drink. Just drink liquids. And so, this is the indicator when you know that you need to go on a fast. If you have a protruding belly, for example. If you're overweight. Okay, we already know this, right? Those things. But also, if you are having to wear antiperspirant and you're sweating through the antiperspirant. Or if you're wearing deodorant. And you constantly got to keep on putting on deodorant or taking a bath two and three times a day because you smell yourself. Your body is trying to release things. Or when you go to the restroom and you lit it up per se and the whole house is smelling some kind of way. I'm not trying to sound greater than. I'm really not. But our, our bowel movement is not supposed to be vile like that. They're really not. They're really not. If you think about it, they're really, really not. Even people with halitosis, I think they call it, when you have really bad breath, that's not supposed to be the key. 
It, it's just not supposed to be. That's letting you know that something is in there. Back to that lack of hydrochloric acid. Something is in there that's just sitting there and it ain't moving. That, that, that garbage disposal, it needs some circulation going. Some water needs to be flushed down there. Some pink Himalayan sea salt, some coconut oil to kill that fungus and allow that thing to flow, to, to loosen up some of that inflammation. And that's another reason for the coconut, coconut oil is because of the inflammation too. Not just the amino acids. See, some people want to go, like so those people that go to the gym all the time. All they know is muscle, 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 build, build, build. Eat this protein, protein, protein. But if you sit it up there going to the gym and you got a big old piece of mold, a fungus, sit it up in here. And you constantly taking with your Pepto-Bismol or whatever. You are not healthy. You might have that muscle right here. But right here, the God. It really, really needs to be clean of the fungus and the mold that, that they, it'd be a breeding house for parasites. And one thing about parasites and bacteria, it grows. It have life cycles. It grows and gets greater and greater and greater if you don't tend to it. They lay eggs and larvae and reproduce. And you, it'll take sometimes months and almost over a year for some people to restore their body back to optimum health if you let those things wild out inside of you. <laughs> so you gotta start somewhere and a lot of us a lot of us just eating too much and, and so our program in our matrix it might be our television it might be those commercials it might be those billboards where you see those juicy sandwiches with the cheese which is extra mold on there you gotta get your cheese and you gotta get your dead animal in you because you need your protein you need your protein you need your dead animal you need your mold you need your yeast from your bread because all bread has uh, yeast in it right all bread has glue in it they call it gluten you need this here to stick to you but these, these are the same people that don't even want to drink water these are the same people that don't have a bowel movement there are so many things we can do so many ways we can heal the body and even with that in mind the body's life cycles of of of, of return of turning over at a cellular level whether it's your liver what is your kidney what is your stomach lining what is your skin it sheds and reproduces matter of fact is what is it say, what it's saying here is i'll grow back for you i'll start you off new if you give me what i need your nail break is gonna grow back you cut your hair it's gonna grow back you 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 eat in every three days, you eat something bad, every three days you get a new stomach lining. A layer is, is lifted, a sloughed off of your stomach lining. So how is it that you still have a stomach problem? Because you never transformed that energy and decided to do something different. <laughs> Everything turning over for you. Your body is trying to give you life. But if your thoughts aren't giving your body life, if you're not renewing your mind, if your physical is not changing, meaning you're not trying deciding you're gonna dare to do something different, I'm gonna try to fast. I'm maybe gonna try to detox. I'm gonna do something different besides the steak and potato, besides the beer after I get off, besides the 30 day, I mean the Thursday um, meeting or greeting at the at the bar. You you we some of us are so dedicated, we'll be more dedicated to going out for drinks on Thursday with our girlfriends and sitting at the same spot every week, then we are dedicated to taking care of our physical body. Now, what does that say about you and how you feel and about yourself, about your health? I know people like that. I know people like that, that every Thursday, people that I used to work with, that every Thursday they would go and meet at a daiquiri shop. Every Thursday, faithfully. And I used to go to hang out with them because I love the people and I'll give me a Hawaiian punch or whatever, put a cherry on the side of my glass, whatever. But then I was like, well, hey, wait, hold up, hold up here. Every Thursday? How about we be dedicated to doing something different? How about some Thursdays we don't have to drink? But those people weren't weren't ready or daring to do something different with their body or with their mind. They wanted to do that. And those people experience just ease and disharmony in their body too. You can't you can't make people change, you know. You gotta let people just be. So that's why I, I try to come as humble as I know how to if you wanna change, you know, I I I I, I could help you. 
because I've been through some things, but I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna cast my pearls among swines that don't don't want to digest the information. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna waste my energy doing that because I could be right up in here, underneath this here sun, actually in the sun, just being still and knowing that I'm God, and everything will work itself out. Okay, so let me see what this is saying. Did I miss some comments here? I really need help with tax fare to go to an interview tomorrow. Hmm, where did that come from? Well, hey sis, I'm getting more in tune with my organs too and doing the same, changing my life. Yes, yes. Oh, I like that. Is it Nietzsche? Michelle, maybe? Nietzsche? I like that. I like that. I'll be starting with you today. Oh, Kiki, you going to start with me? Okay. I'm going to stay on you too and find out what you drinking over there. <laughs> Let's see. I'm on a grape only. Oh, grapes are really good for the kidneys. You remember like, um, you ever watch like, um, just older shows with the gods, you know, and they always had the grapes on the um, platter for the god or the goddess, and they would fan them. Grapes have always been good for that, and that's why I believe in the physical reality. It's so hard to get seeded grapes. I I tried in Louisiana to grow some. They they got they got, they got almost right, but they didn't last though. But yeah, it's really hard to find seeded grapes. And those are the ones that really has a powerful punch because seedless, it's, it's actually has been made in a lab. You know, it doesn't have the substance, all of it that it needs. But um, just kind of like um, how we look at everything being energy, frequency, and vibration, everything vibrates at different frequencies. So you might have a seedless lime, and then you have the seeded key lime, the seeded one is going to be more beneficial for the darker hue or the melanated being. Now, that doesn't mean that the seed less one isn't beneficial at all. Like some people could benefit on that, but that's not for the darker hue being is what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> so, um, because we need more, we need more into, okay, let me, let me, let me, cause I don't, I don't, I don't want to be like I'm just for I'm not on nobody's side dog or bright okay we need more is all that I'm saying let me add to that just like for example I'm kind of like brownish like color you know so mocha like maybe but like a black or darker hued being in comparison to the sun like we both sitting in the sun right my tolerance for it it's not going to be as high, no matter, even though I sit outside in the sun maybe all day, but if there's a darker hued being that sit out in the sun all day, they could probably take a heightened um, temperature than I, is what I'm saying. It, it takes more for that, that sun to really to affect them, so to speak, right? If they wanted to get a burst of the sun faster, though, what they would have to do is use the palm of their hand and, or the uh, soles of their feet since it's brighter than their skin, right? So even even elderly people or babies, if they wanted to get some sunlight and couldn't stand being outside long, that's a really good trick for them to just put the palms of their hands. It's like our charging station. Put the palm of their hand out the window. Put the soles of their feet into the you know sun part and they could stay in the shade. But what I'm saying about the, 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 the difference is that our melanin is different just like our blood type is different right so it takes more of a darker hued being sitting in the sun for longer durations for that sun to affect them so it's the same way with food that 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 darker human being human being he gonna need that seeded key light he gonna need that because he need that light force even on a deeper level you know because he's god you know in physical form so he need that higher frequency stuff that's going to electrify his already electric body i ain't saying he ain't gonna get no juice from the seedless stuff 
because it had to have to have some of the substance of the of the, his juice in order to be created in the first place in the lab but i'm saying why go to the little lesser fruit when you could have the mamma jamma <laughs> you know y'all there can y'all see me can y'all hear me let me know trey if you still there somebody kiki wait Oh, y'all there. Yeah. Guess what? We were just talking about how how the um <laughs> how you can't handle certain things. Well, my my phone couldn't handle being outside in the temp. Now there you go. Thank y'all. Thanks for letting me know. There you go. Perfect example. The phone, man made, couldn't handle being outside. Now I was in the shed, the shaded area. I wasn't in a direct sun, but the phone couldn't handle the temp. Just like certain beans, we can't handle certain things. You know, certain beans have to put glasses on when they're out in the sun because they don't have enough melanin in their eyes to able to see in it. Certain beans cannot taste to a certain extent. And I'm not being ugly. Don't blame me. That's just how we made the matrix be, right? And so they don't have certain tastes bud so to speak so they don't probably know much about flavor you know because they're in a different state of being they are at a different blood type they're vibrating at a different frequency in the matrix and that's just gonna be what it's gonna be and i didn't make up that particular law for them to be that way but we're all existing and participating in it so you need to vibe and in in, in attune to the law that governs you melanated being with what feels good to your melanated body and your blood type so it's in, in in i'm not being ugly but you know even with consciousness per se at a at a everybody has the ability to tap into source energy right they all we all have that innate ability to do so but even spiritually some people feel you know are connected at different levels you know some people you know get a knowing so to speak they're attuned to that voice inside of them some people like what voice i hear that girl you tripping oh oh you crazy or whatever you know because we all on different journeys vibrating at different frequencies but this one here is about health and wellness if it feels good to you when you consume it when you sit with yourself and digest that thing do that if it's helping your blood flow your bowel movement do that but you got to be able to be still and know that i'm god and talk to those cells and be attuned to those cells and send your thought like so when i close my eyes when in the beginning when i was doing this practicing this when i close my eyes i'm communicating mentally with my lover saying okay is this is this good for us what, what is this what is this key line all about is it gonna help talk to you and i could literally feel in my journey i could feel like that gallbladder duck or whatever loosening things just rolling down i could feel these things that's how in tune we should be with our body so much so that after i eat a meal i can feel where my food is where it's traveling when it gets to a point where it's almost time to be expelled i can feel that and you should be able to feel that that's how in tune we should be with our body that we can feel it on a cellular level that we can talk to it on a cellular level and it, if it is feeling this ease and disharmony communicate and let it know that all is well we gonna live today cells renew blood cleanse you know you're supposed to be telling it what it's supposed to be doing if you're feeling this ease in it in any way show you could even tell it or ask it a question show me <laughs> that everything is working out for me right now show me that my health is up to par right now show me that my cells are being renewed right now. Show me that my muscle is forming right now. So whatever it is, you can talk to your body and tell your body, look, show me muscles. And you stay on that body. It ain't all about working out. It's about you 
Believe in this. You conjured up this energy, creating this thing. Show me muscles. I, I want some muscles in my arm. Show them to me. <laughs> and it has to yield to you. Show me the herbs. Tell me the herbs that I need to take. If you if you on your journey of finding out different herbs, show me the herbs that I can take to cleanse my blood. I want my blood to be renewed. Blood, I'm, I'm speaking to you. I'm speaking the word to you. It's, it's time to clean. It's time to clean house. And it, blood, I'm speaking to you now. I'm speaking the word to you. You know? That's that's the place of being that we want to be in. Not going to the doctor, telling the doctor, oh, uh, I think you need to increase this uh, blood pressure medication because that's all they're going to do is constantly increase, increase, increase. But how about we take care of the thick, tacky blood because that's really what all blood, high blood pressure is, thick stagnated tacky blood from the things that we consume in our physical now it it started in the spiritual realm it started the blood pressure started in the spiritual realm you can go to the spiritual realm and mentally fix it because it's really something or somebody that harmed you that got underneath your blood <laughs> That helped that held up your stagnated your chakra pools of energy and stopped them from flowing. But you could still manipulate energy in the physical realm and take a herb in the physical realm to give you the energy to flow again as you work on your heart. And believe it or not, if you think about it, the thing, the herbs, you know, if you think about the colors of the food, the herbs and all they they're correlating to that chakra pool of energy and i like to think of the green as being the one for the heart and for the blood right so all of these green leafy things is actually unclogging that heart or dis-ease per se we go to if you look from a plane you all you really see is browns and greens throughout the universe the green is the love the signature of love love from that heart that heart chakra, it correlates with that heart chakra. And so it'll help you on the physical too, when you consume it, thin out that blood, purify that blood, renew that blood, because now you connect it back to the universe, the source, which is the most powerful form of energy that it is, which stems from love. So it all correlates, just like if you pay attention to the peppers, the different color peppers correlate with the different color chakra pools of energy in your body too. So those that's walking around in physical reality with um, root chakra issues from survival issues with their daddy leaving them or mama leaving them or being molested or whatever. Red peppers in your food, you know, the cherry tomatoes in your food, red apples, red would be your color. The orange, the people with the orange, you know, that, that's that orange pepper for you. The yellow pepper, then you, then you got the green pepper. You see what I'm saying? And then when you go to the Christ consciousness, you're looking at berries, you're looking at the blueberries and and um and the uh blackberries and and anything with that black purpley look. Then they have the grapes that's that color. You know? So food is actually telling you, it's sending you a signal, hey, if you have problems in your physical reality with this here, let me know. So you and you find out which color chakra pool of energy it's coordinating with and you go eat that thing to clear up that stagnated energy <laughs> life left us a whole pamphlet how to take care of the avatar but that's if we want to read it digest it and, 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 and do it that way let's see my phone have to get used to the heat. Yeah, it does, because I'm used to it, but I, I can't stay outside. Nobody didn't do no lies, because this is actually the second time that, that happened. And I thought because it was early in the morning that it wouldn't do it, but it, it do it even in the morning out here. Yeah, so yeah, y'all back. But I really wanted to share. Thank y'all. Oh, wow. You took it. Being related to Michelle, and that was on point. Oh, yeah, that was on point. I thought so. But yeah, Concord uh, grapes with seed. And like I said, they're hard to find. But um, but just say, oh, just try, if you're melanated being on this particular live, try to go for the things that have a seed. You know, like the plums, like the um, the cantaloupe, like the watermelon. Oh, the good fast would be a watermelon, a seeded watermelon um, fast. That will hydrate you and flush you out really, really good. I love watermelon. I haven't found one out here yet, though. Not a seeded one, 
You know, you want us to, you, oh, cherries. Cherries are really, really good. Cherries could help you with pain. Cherry helps to open up your pineal gland. Even if you don't have the seeded cherry, if you find real seeded um, tart cherry juice, which is expensive also, man, it is so good for you. It'll help you get, produce your melatonin at night if you're having hard trouble sleeping at night. Cherries help with that. You know, it relaxes you. And as far as the herbs are concerned, um, there are really a lot of powerful herbs out there, but some of them are not for us. My favorite powerful ones are sarsap, like I said, yellow dock, burdock, dandelion root, needle, um, or nettle, however you want to pronounce it. Um, what else? Oh, holy basil. Oh, holy basil. Like if you have anxiety or dealing with depression or whatever, holy basil is a good one. Oh my God. I gotta give me some holy bees. I haven't had none of that in a, in a minute. But in, I'm telling you this year, and I'm saying just how I said, I gotta give me some holy bees. The first time I consume holy bees, oh my God. When you consume these things for the first time, you pay attention. Man, that sucker had me feeling so on cloud nine. Holy basil is holy. It had me like on cloud nine with its frequency. So pay attention to how you're feeling, what you're putting in your body, and, and try to do you a fast one day, even if it's not full blown liquids or whatever. Maybe a fast from not eating any meat for three days and just assess your body and see how you feel. Maybe a fast from getting away from the cheese because at the end of the day, it is really mold in this matrix, okay? So these things are, I really think is a really, I know rather, it's a really good start. Because when I started, when I did this and I started my journey, I wasn't conscious. I wasn't trying to, you know, talking to no people. I wasn't doing nothing but trying to save my darn life. And so I, like I said, I threw all of those things away. And then one day, I'll never forget, I was in this technical meeting. You know, I come from, you know, a technical background in engineer, transmission engineer. And I was in this meeting you know um, it was a transmission and distribution meeting actually at that time and i was in there in this meeting and i was like wow i'm listening i'm understanding i'm remembering it was like a light switch had went off for me for my attention span for my mental clarity you know i begin to then read things and you know how like when you're foggy in your mind, or what I should have said, when you're full of shit right here, your mind, when you're reading a paragraph, you're going to have to read that thing about two or three times. You're like, what? Wait, what? What they saying? I don't understand that. Let me read it again. Or your eyesight, because I used to wear glasses too. Your eyesight, your vision, it starts to get blurry too. Yeah, because your body, your immune system don't have time to be doing all that there. When you literally full of shit? No, it don't. And so then... When I realized that, I was like, oh yeah, I'm on to something. Yeah, I'm gonna continue. And I felt so hopeful. I felt like I got my life force back. I felt so free and, and even empowered at the same time. So I wanted to share that with you all because a lot of times in our journey, we'll have, we'll have um, things like um, cysts and lumps and tumors and all of that started off with a little bit of mucus. It got a little bit hard and nobody ever assessed to it and then it got a little harder and then it grew it grew into maybe a tumor into that big cyst until that thing that you your doctor said needed to be removed because you didn't remove it now you have somebody outside of you going inside of you to remove something that you could have easily removed yourself if you took care of the avatar self don't be so stiff neck in don't be such a stiff neck generation like they talk about in the biblical text about healing or taking care of your kingdom, God. Because so it's cool to, to not give your attention to the things that are not serving you. Yeah, but if you don't give your attention to some things that you put on the back burner, know that it's still there. You got to release the resistance too. And releasing the resistance is knowing that it's okay. Everything's perfect. That I'm in alignment. That I'm not worried about that thing in the back of my head. Instead of just letting it wild out, letting it grow, letting it turn over. Some people, see some people on the conscious journey, they talk that stuff, but they're not mentally there yet to be able to talk it. And I understand that it is a journey, but don't let that thing sneak up on you. 
So you do these different things in your physical reality to manipulate the in energy. It's like you're giving yourself some kind of insurance per se. So if I say, you know, I'm healed, I ain't worried about it, da 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 da, okay. To give myself some extra insurance, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take maybe the proper herb that's for that healing and work on it that way. So that way I got my mental going and I got my physical going. You see what I'm saying? And sometimes in the journey, you need both of those things in order to be healed, in order to clear that stagnated energy, that tumor, whatever it is in your physical reality. You need both of those things sometimes because sometimes your mental ain't up to par. Because had it been up to par, you wouldn't be sick anyway. <laughs> you wouldn't be feeling this ease because keep in mind, health and wellness up here. Sickness and disease and death is down here because we actually not supposed to be getting or being sick. We're supposed to be being love, being wellness, being abundant. So that means you at, you're already vibrating at a low frequency if you're dealing with these things right here. So if you're at a low frequency, I would suggest for you to get something that's going to help you get a little higher. That's all we on the, on the journey to do, to get a little higher. So if your frequency on the sick mode where you have a cold, uh, it's a kind of low frequency. When you have the flu and you're always catching a bug, it's kind of low in that area. I'm not judging you. I'm helping you here. So it's kind of low in that area. So lean on the herbs. Lean on the herbs, something that's in alignment. Like a tree, all it has to do is be still and know that I'm God. The tree ain't got your troubles. The tree ain't got people that's picking on them and judging them or whatever. The tree just asking, it received. The tree asks for, asks for water and that's why it rains. The tree acts for sleep, and in that area, that's where the cold climate comes, and it goes into hibernation. The tree is asking and receiving, and the tree has no resistance. So consume something that don't have no resistance. Since you, since you sit down there, you had resistance. That's how you got sick. So consume something that don't have resistance in order to help you increase your frequency. That's how you do that. That's how you manipulate the energy. Use what you need to get to where you want to be. And before you know it, you, you up there. And then when you get up there, then you can look back and be like, you know what? All I really had to do was change my mind, change my thoughts. Mm -hmm. That's all we really had to do. But I'm thankful for the tree anyway. Be, then you be to let this mind be in you. Let me see if, I, if I'm missing something. I'm running my mouth, yeah. Okay. Why the comments always jumping? Your light shines so brightly. Thank you, Lady Pamela. What do you eat on a daily basis? Oh, hey, Sherry. Thanks for being here. Um, my diet is really... <laughs> I only eat once a day, I'll tell you that. I only eat one meal, per se, a day. Like today, I just... When I normally get up, I just drink water. And I try to go for something with fiber in it. Matter of fact, look, let me show you. And this morning, I had some dates. My so called fiber. I only had two of these. I keep these. I have a lot of them. So I had water, two dates, and I made myself a tea so far for today. I'm on a fast today, so I'm not going to be eating no more food today for the next two days because I'm going to do a three day fast. But I'm going to just be drinking water and then my tea. I'm going to have my coconut oil, like I was saying. But on the day when I'm not fasting, I will still probably be doing pretty much the same. Getting up, drinking my water. I'll try to get a fruit first thing. And because I'm not hungry, my stomach still be like tired almost, like sleep. Like you don't want to eat. I don't even think about food when I first get up. But I do the date stuff, you know, just to keep me flowing with my fiber per se. Or I'll get like maybe some um, fruit, you know, plum, mango, uh, kiwis, something like that. I don't, I don't do the banana. It's a little bit too much for me in the morning. I don't do anything heavy, the grains and all that. I don't. Then after noon or in an earlier part of the day, if I want to eat that day, that's the, that's the time because I like to eat in sync with the sun because if the sun is at its highest peak, it's giving me energy and it's helping me with my solar plex, my sun, my fire inside of me to help me digest my food properly. And so normally I'm eating maybe a salad. If I get a so -called, if I can't find a salad, I'm getting maybe um a wrap and pulling the wrap off. I'm I'm really a picky eater. At the end of the day I'm really just eating mostly um <laughs> uh herbs, 
for the most part. Like the other day I, I posted, I couldn't find vegan meat nowhere. And normally I get these, these little, not the um, Beyond Burger, it's called Tofuki, Tofuki meat. They're like four of them in a pack. They sell them at Walmart. And I'll put that inside of my cooked food. I'll put like two links of that in my cooked food or I'll make my own meat. And I make my meat out of like um, portobello mushrooms and, and herbs because mushrooms give you that meat consistency. I make my own vegan meat normally for my food. But mostly in my food, I be having a lot of cilantro in there, getting rid of my heavy metals. I have all color peppers up in there, making sure all of my chakra pools of energy are in alignment. And it'll be something liquidy. Like I had, um, it was like a soup and some green peas on the side on my last live that I did. But that's really how my food, all of my meals are. If I do my vegan um, spaghetti, for example, you know, I have my tomato paste in there with all of my cilantro. I have my watercress, probably my purple onion, my white onion, all of my pepper colors up in there. I always go hard with the herbs. If you go hard with the herb, you're getting your silica, which is a cousin of, um, of carbon, which we are melanated beans and we need that silica. We need that for our skin, our life force. We need those colors for our chakra pools of energy to be flowing. So it's just one meal, but that one meal that I have, trust and believe, there's herbs, there's pink Himalaya sea salt, there's 21 seasons salute in there. There's probably some oregano in there. It's jam packed with minerals, that one meal. That's why I only need one meal. And then after that, I don't probably eat no more. Every now and then, I like these little Elmer's potato chips from New Orleans. That's my little snack that I eat. But for the most part, I try on purpose to on purpose not to eat meat. But sometimes I do. Like I, like I said, I couldn't find that um that vegan meat, or I didn't have any of my vegan meat because my refrigerator tripped and all of my vegan meat went bad. So I gotta make more from scratch. And um, any fruit, any fruit that I desire throughout the day, I'll eat that later after my meal. But that's that one chip that I eat. And that's about it. That's about it. I don't have, like, you know how some people have, like, cravings for sugar? You know, and they, I don't really have the sugar cravings. Sugar cravings is indicating that you got something in there that's making you want to do something. Like, aka, like, parasites or something. They crave sugar. They make you, anytime you feel like, ooh, I gotta have some ice cream. I gotta have, you know something sweet i don't know what else besides like candy or whatever i never 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 do that because i don't have those issues anymore and when your body craving those things that that's an indicator that something needs to be changed too because um that's not a healthy indicator there so i'll, I'll be wanting certain fruits but it ain't the same craving like sugar so that's about it but in, in the beginning though i i was just making stuff, you know, making meals, you know? And so now I have my meals, my vegan meals that I go to, but most of the time I'm not eating much. I'm living off the sun and drinking more than anything. Yeah, 100% true. So I don't, so as far as a daily basis, I probably don't eat the same thing every day. Mm -mm. I love your hair. Oh, thank you, babe. I appreciate you. I love your energy. Thank you. So refreshing. Yeah, I don't eat the same thing every day. I, I think that'll make it boring to be a vegan. In the beginning, how I started though, and I'll share this because this might be helpful. How I started was, I, I got rid of everything, right? And then I started incorporating my family in the kitchen with me since I had all of this colorful stuff and I started exploring. But they was his own this journey. They was like, look, you tripping? I'm going by my grandma house <laughs> where I know they got some meat over there and I'll be back, like, right? So what I did was I tried with their food, I tried to incorporate more vegetables and less of the meat, you know? And then after we got past that point, I tried, <laughs> I tried giving them stuff that they really liked that was really, really vegan and healthier for them as a substitute. So when I took away like fried chicken, for example, I added fried portobello mushrooms, for example. When I took away, when we stopped drinking cold drinks, I added smoothies, you know, like with uh, dates inside of it for sweetener, 
at that time and um and hemp seeds you know to fill them up you know to give them their so-called protein amino acids so when you take away and when I took away burgers, I added vegan burgers. When you take away, you want to add a substitute for it. If you don't have a substitute, you might feel a little defeated in your journey. You might feel like, uh, I don't know if I'm going to do this vegan thing because I don't know what to eat. And that was, in the beginning, I cried to myself because I knew I was being called. My body was being called to do these things. I was literally feeling the consciousness of the animal. I was literally hearing these things in my mental. And that's why I went cold turkey. And so I cried not knowing, oh my God, what am I going to eat? Because I had never been taught. And it, it came to me clear as day. That text in the in the biblical text where it says the herbs is for the healing of the nation and the, and the fruit shall be your food. So I started wilding out on fruits. I, I tried all kinds of fruits. And that's when I started to pay attention. Like, wait, this one don't. Give me you no know, life force. This one's wrong with this one. I had no idea about, you know, the seeded versus unseeded at that time. This was years ago. And I'm like, oh, this one here that's seeded tastes a whole lot better than this unseeded. This unseeded tastes like nothing. Like, like it's not real. Like, to me, I felt that. I felt the life force in that. That's why I'm saying trust what you feel because how you feel is your internal indicator of what's going on in here for your blood type for your journey in your matrix why did you move so refreshing yeah thanks um cherry why did i move there are many reasons um because i wanted to for one <laughs> because in the south they have a lot of hurricanes and i was tired i felt like you know, after a while, you do the same thing over and over. It's like insanity, rebuilding the same house. I got tired of that. I wanted to be closer here to where I'm going to be doing my retreats and stuff in the near future. And because this place feels like heaven on earth to me, I love it. I love being here. I love everything about it. I love how my mind is here. I feel a sense of bliss, bliss and joy and peace here. And because it's another chapter in my life, I retired also until I wanted to see something new. That's why. <laughs> Thanks for asking. That's a beautiful question. But anyway, did I ask everything on here? I need to do a seeded watermelon fast. Yeah, you do. Because that that's really good for men. I did a video maybe a year or so ago about... Even the rind of the watermelon is really good, and it, it's, it's good for helping with prostate, erectile dysfunction. It really gets your blood flowing and helps with erections. I'm not saying that anybody here has that issue, but I'm just sharing what it can do. Let's see. Um, Big Bird said, could you please recommend a natural soap and lotion? Well... <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't actually make my own. And I'm not saying that because I want my website is closed right now. I'm not saying that because I want you to um, buy from me, but I can't, honestly. I promise you, I can't out there in the commercial world recommend a natural soap or natural lotion that has been beneficial. That's why I could begin to create my own. And the reason why I say that is because even though, even though they might have some that don't have the lie, which lie is... Um, that ingredient that I was telling you about that's in the oven cleaner and that knocks off your pH balance, even if it don't have the lye and it's using some other kind of ingredient, most often than not, these makers aren't paying attention to the pH balance of it. You know, they're just making something that will strip you maybe of, of you know, the dirt or bacteria, so to speak. But if it's not in balance too and don't have the harmful ingredients on top of that, then it's still causing you an issue there. Because, okay, let's talk about the, the black, what do they call it? The black African soap. That black African soap is so alkaline. It's so alkaline. And it, so many people cannot agree with it on their skin because of that. Because the, the skin is, is slightly acidic. So if you just put raw black African soap on your skin, 
you can knock out your pH balance right there. So I wouldn't recommend that to you. The only way to be able to um, put those things on it is if you know how to manipulate that energy and bring that pH balance on, down. And then you have to know the proper doses and stuff. So mm, I can't, even with Dr. Burners, I tried that too. That's, that's alkaline, it make you itch and, and dry out your skin. You gotta dilute it and all that. Dove, it had too many chemicals and in, in the caress, too many chemicals. So that's why I made my own. I had a, you know, natural essential oils and shea butters and, 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 you know, that I know how to manipulate the energy of and get it to the proper pH balance. And it's also antifungal bacteria, antimicrobial and all that good stuff. And don't have all of them chemicals and it don't have no lie up in there. So I'm I'm sorry, babe. I can't. When I open up my website, I'll let you know. Stay tuned. But I, I'm not. I won't. Wouldn't want to be responsible for that. Yeah. So did I answer anything here? Okay. <laughs> All right. Let me go down here to the bar. Oh my God! I use that. You do? Which one you use? The the um, Dr. Bronner's Bronner's thing. That's the, uh, nah. What kind of retreats do you do? Well, I'm gonna be doing meditation retreats um, out in Sedona. It's gonna be like yoga, meditation, vegan food, just a whole bunch of conscious knowledge in one spot where, you know, if you wanna come uh, out, we're gonna do maybe start off with weekend ones and then maybe do a whole week, you know? Because the elevation there, in Sedona is really really high on these it, this particular area that I'm talking about it's really really high elevation it really clears your mind you're in tune with nature nature is all around you and they are so peaceful you know the rabbits and the, the birds everything is just so beautiful even the coyotes or whatever out in the in the woods when you see them in the wild when you see them they just look at you they're just so per peaceful and they're about their business they you know they're not trying to do you no harm, they, they respecting you, you respect it, and you, everybody is just at peace. So I wanna be in that environment, because environment says a lot, you know? Environment sometimes have a frequency of its own, and if you're attuned to a certain environment, like in the hood, per se, you're kinda of like governing, you're always around that particular frequency. So I wanna bring people out into a higher elevation, a nicer, you know, environment conducive, conducive of the frequency of the universe to get their mind at ease and forget about all your worries so you could release all of that resistance and meditate sit down be still and know that i'm god that's what i'm doing the african oh the oh that's the one you try yeah yeah but it is um alkaline it really is but even like for example coconut oil you know some people <clears throat> put coconut oil on their skin but coconut oil is about eight a ph balance of eight the skin is pretty much around a five because <laughs> it's slightly acidic so that's really alkaline too and so some people say oh it clogged up my pores oh don't give me nothing with coconut oil in it oh this and all that yeah because of the ph balance because you were supposed to have something acidic on that thing too you know mixed in that thing too to tone it down a little bit so it won't be as as high in its energy for your skin at that moment. Now, coconut oil is perfect for going inside of you because you want the inside of you to be at a balance of, you know, eight or no higher than eight. Even with the waters, for example, uh, the alkaline water, you know how they be having like the 8.8 .8 or 9.1 waters? That's a, too much of anything. It's not good for you. Now you go and you wilding out a little bit too much with the alkaline thing. You bring it on down, bring it back on down. <laughs> because your body now has to work harder. Like say, for example, you had acid reflux. Your body had food sitting in there, like we were talking about earlier. You don't have enough hydrochloric acid in there to break stuff down already, right? Because you're not consuming, for example, the, the pink Himalayan sea salt. Then you on top of that. So that lets you know that you got some bacteria, fungus, or whatever growing, right? Then on top of that, you're going to drink alkaline water at like nine? Alkaline water? And the, that stuff's going to grow. <laughs> it's going to grow. So whatever it is, is wilding out. Because like you think about a swimming pool, for example. 
you just you could put alkaline baking soda, for example. It'll make a swim pool more alkaline. You put that in it, that's not getting rid of the green slime, the fungus and mold that's on the walls of that pool. Trust me, I know how to balance a pool. You gotta get something acidic in that. And that's when they throw in the muriatic acid in a swimming pool. You, you gotta get something acidic. You gotta, you gotta clean that, that, that slime and that sludge. You gotta clean them cells off, which means you gotta clean that liver, the cells, the liver, the, the kidneys. So something acidic needs to tone that down. So you go for this you and some of that water, that 9.1 water out there, they process and that's man-made. They don't have the minerals in there. Some of them people, you you know, you know, you could get a business, you could get a little business going, a little LLC, and, and make water. <laughs> you could manipulate some water, you could sell some water. Just because you buying the water that say 9.1 don't mean it has its life force, don't mean it came from a spring. And so, so a lot of people just getting got. <laughs> a lot of people are getting got in different levels of their healing journey because they're not seeking the knowledge. They just, oh yeah, that's going to work. They're not sitting and paying attention to how their body feeling and stuff. They don't really know everything it is to know about that avatar self, the skin and, and, you know, the digestive system and everything just yet. But we all on a journey. And so I guess we, we should not know at one point, and then when we get to know it, it, it just becomes so much better. It just feels so good, like, oh, now I figured it out. Now I remember. <laughs> yeah. Excuse my ignorance, but where is Sedona that you were speaking of? Sedona is in Arizona. Sedona, Arizona is um, a, it's a city in Arizona. Look, at, look it up on Google. Look at the images, they're so beautiful. Yeah, when you put in Sedona, Arizona, just click on images and you'll see what I'm talking about. And then you'll be like, oh, <laughs> that'll be your answer. Oh, because it's so beautiful and it's like holy land to me. I'm not saying it is holy land, but they always talk about how the frequency of that particular area is really at a high energy. And for me, outside of what they say, saying, I felt it for myself. And so I'm not into religion per se and i don't believe in religion maybe the way other people do as if it's physical things that that's happened i believe it's a story about us but if i were somebody in religion i would feel like that place was the place where jesus fasted for 40 days and 40 nights those mountains you know that this is what jesus may have went and meditated you know because it felt so good to me to my soul when i went there and so I love it. Okay, if you have it, I'll attend. Okay, yeah, I will have it. Okay, I'm gonna see you that in if that's the case. Because um, I'm telling you, nothing, nothing mattered. Nothing mattered. My thoughts were so crisp, clear. And then I got on a plane and went back home. And there's another reason why I moved. I got on a plane and I went back home. And when I got back home, it was like, womp, womp, womp. <laughs> and, and like a week or two later, Hurricane Ida hit. And I was like, you know what? I will not be going through this here no more. I know a place. And it was really just me being in perfect alignment to already desire to go there. That was already in the making. I just hadn't had the thought just yet. And when a thought came, everything was in alignment. When I thought that, oh, I'm going to go there, everything just fell into alignment and just... And I just walked into it. So, anyway, girl, song is great for clearing sciences and migraine. Oh, yeah, let me tell you. I'm telling y'all, it's something about this sun. There's something about this energy here. Because the second day, I was draining, like, my sinuses and stuff. And I, I asked one of the local friends of mine, and he was like, yeah, either your sinuses get better or they get worse when you move out here. Cause I was like, I don't know what happened. I was like, I know I'm not sick cause I don't get sick. I know I'm not sick, but I'm just snotting like, I mean, drip. I could feel the drip like, right? And I was like, oh my God. And so I felt really, really tired that day. So I took, I drank me a tea, one of my herbal teas with some coconut oil and I went to sleep. But the next day, man, I felt so good. But I didn't, I didn't know that when you change, positions of the sun because you gotta keep in mind that we are condensed versions of the sun right so this is why they call us per sun you know we are per, you know that per sun because you're a percentage of the sun 
And so when you go to different places, and you know, Africa could be one. I've just never been to the motherland in my physical this lifetime yet. But Africa could be another place. Because you know how people say it's holy land and they felt like they were at home. It's really about the position that you are in in relation to the sun because we are children of the sun the s-u-n energy we are condensed versions of the sun this is why we wake up and are quickened by the sun and this is why we can tolerate the sun even the more so being that i moved from one position louisiana to another position further west of the sun to arizona my body so to speak it had to like recalibrate so to speak and so that first day, that's when the drainage and stuff happened. That's why I now get up at 4 o'clock in the morning and just be so eager. I feel so eager to be in the sun. Like right now, I'm really anxious to kind of finish this live because I want to go back into the sun. I was doing the live and then the live cut off because the temperature was too hot for the phone. But it wasn't too hot for me because I want more of it. And so it's like a healing. It's like a, if anything I'm addicted to, if anything... I crave for, I crave the sun. And that's just me. That's just part of me. So, I will invite you to South Africa someday. Oh, please do. Hey, Kilo. Thank you for being here. Please do. I would love to come to South Africa. Oh, my God. And talk to the healers. Oh, that sounds so exciting. Because I know they have so many healers. I had this guy friend who was a healer. He would go to Africa all the time and, you know, and tell me about the different exotic herbs and stuff that he um, he passed on, though, that he uh, learned about and stuff. And he had a lot of good connects, but I didn't get any of their contact information before he passed. But I would love to go to that motherland. I feel like him, the guy that died, I feel like he, he left those connects, you know, kind of like for me spiritually. Like, so if I was to ever go there, I know I'll gravitate to them because... Because we're like-minded and stuff. So, yeah, i love to go. Tell me. Tell me when. <laughs> Tell me when. As long, as long as it's after this, if, if they have any, you know, COVID uh, restrictions. Because I'm not trying to get, you know, shot up, you know, with, with that shot just to go right now. I don't want that in my body. <laughs> just to let you know that part. Okay. So, anyway, I don't see nothing else on here. I don't see anything else on here, but it was really great talking to you all today. I am about to. She said, "Right up that, yeah. I don't want, I don't want the child just to go there. I'll go when he left all of that, and I can go in peace and just be me, you know. Because it's not. I don't think I don't feel. I know it's not worth it. I know that I have everything that I need in my body already. I can't equip." with everything that I need in this lifetime, so I don't need anything from them, per se. So, anyway, I'm about to go back outside and get back into the sun and connect back to the universe and ground myself and all that good stuff. I'll probably be outside all day and work out a little later. Have a wonderful day, you too, babe. Thanks for joining my live, y'all. Looking forward to communicating. Yes, yes. Y'all be blessed. This video was from my heart to yours. Take care of your avatar. Take care of your body, babe.